I just want to do a little 10 minute video and then I'm going to set my timer to keep me honest. So here we go. Taking the feet hip width apart, spreading the toes wide and pulling the heels back. Taking just a moment or two here to lengthen up through the crown of the head like you're being dangled, suspended on a string. And then this Utkatasana flow. With the inhalation, sweeping the arms all the way. Exhaling nice and slow, rolling through the wrists to articulate and warm up the wrist joint. Bring the hands around to the small of the back. And then inhaling, lift the chest, you fountaining up out of the feet, stretch the lungs. Exhaling, folding over, bent the knees, the ankles fold, the knees fold, the hips fold, then release the head. Inhaling, sweep up to Utkatasana. Exhaling, folding forward and lifting the hips. Soften the left knee, take the left hand to the right leg, foot or floor, and then extending up and through the right arm. Exhale, swap sides, soften the right knee, and the left elbow wrist, fingertips go open. Exhale, drop the head. Inhaling, dive up the arm side all the way. Exhale, float the hands down. Inhale, both hands up. Reaching through the periphery of the movement, kind of the very edges of where you can actually feel. Exhaling, hands to the small of the back. Inhale, lift, fountain up out of the feet, lift the heart. And then exhaling over bent knees, carve through the air, rib cage pulls in, the head drops. Inhaling, sweep up Utkatasana. Then exhaling, folding forward and lifting the hips. Right arm goes up to twist, shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingertips. Exhale, swap sides. Exhale, release the spine. Inhaling, dive up the arms, dive right up. Exhale and float the hands down, feel the space you move through. Shoulders easy, crown of the head open. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, hands to the small of the back. Inhale, lift the heart, lift up out of the hips. Exhale, over bent knees, fingers interlace, release the head. Inhale, sweep up. Exhaling, folding over and lifting the hips. Right arm goes up to twist. Exhale, swap sides. Exhale, drop the head. Inhaling, dive up, arm side up. Exhale, hands by the side. Twice more, inhale. Exhale, relax the shoulders, throat, face, eyes. Inhale, stretch the lungs, elbows back. Exhale, over bent knees, fingers into this, arms extend. Inhaling, swing up. Exhaling, folding over. Our right arm goes up to twist. Exhale, swap sides. Articulate the joints, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the fingers. And exhale, drop the head. Inhale, dive up, arm side up. Exhale, put the hands down. And one more time, Utkatasana flow, inhale. Inhale, swing up, catch the breath, exhale, 
exhaling, folding over. Right arm goes up to twist. Exhale, swap sides. Exhale, drop the head. And this time, inhale, lift the chest and look up. Hands to the ground, legs go back. Let's lower down through Chaturanga. If you're not used to doing a push-up, come on down to your knees. Inhale, come to the tops of the feet. Lift the knees, the hips and the heart, upward dog. And then exhaling, down up. Take a little moment here, close the eyes, let your head dangle, let your head relax. And just treading softly from heel to heel. I might twist a little bit, lengthening the hip back as you drop into the heel. Try to make yourself feel soft internally. Glowing internally. And then lifting the heels. Stepping the right leg up between the two hands. Make sure your ankle makes it all the way up underneath your knee. Adjust it with your hand if it doesn't work out. Bring the tailbone in. Bring the tummy in towards the spine. Both arms come all the way up. Exhaling, folding the elbows and we'll sink to the ground. Taking both hands down either side of the front foot. And then inhaling, right leg goes up and through, three-legged dog. Exhaling to downward dog. Left leg steps up between the two hands. Torso comes up, the arms come up. Exhaling a nice slow sink from the ground. Two hands go down. And the left leg up and through, three-legged. Exhaling, downward dog. Double check your hand placement, shoulder width apart, fingers are spreading. Press into the base of the index finger. Go ahead and soften the knees and make the longest possible line from the hands through to the hips that you can possibly make. And then starting with the heels drop more. Most people's legs will not come straight here. Don't worry about that. Think instead about the spine, think instead about the breath. Inhale, bringing the shoulders forward over the wrists, and exhale down to the knees. From here, we're starting to explore the range of motion that you've got in the hips. So just feeling your way around through the hip sockets, and try to create this internal slipperiness. If there's no friction, in all of the hip sockets, feel the way the bones of the pelvis are moving around the heads of the femurs. And then let's do the same thing through the shoulders. So just exploring the range of motion that you've got. Probably it feels a little bit more muscular, a little bit more heavy, since we're just starting out with that. With this. Sometimes reaching all the way down or collapsing all the way down into the shoulders, sometimes lifting up out of them. And again, maybe a little bit lighter, a little bit more slippery internally. Bend your breath. And then let's take attention to the midsection. Right around the ribs, belly, button area. And again, just looking for, exploring what's happening there. Sometimes it's drapey, sometimes it's archy. Free movement of the spine. And then just one last connection here, trying to notice without even shifting it, but just noticing the relationship between the tip of the tailbone and the top of the head. And sometimes you'll find that they are doing the exact opposite thing with each other. And sometimes they're doing the same thing, maybe there's no relationship at all. Let me check the time. 
When you're done, stepping away from the mat. 